John 3.30 He must increase, but I must decrease. More of you, Lord, less of me. Have you ever wondered what's life all about? In this self-centered society, contemplation of worldly endeavors fills the mind of many. With minimal investment in the narrow gate route, more of you, Lord, less of me. Matthew 24, 10-13 And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. The problem is, those deceived have no idea they've fallen. They don't even know that they don't know. Ezekiel 33 verses 3 and 4 if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. I warn day in and day out, one day there will be a drought of hearing the word, and at that time, the warnings will be over. Shalom to everyone. Thank you for joining me for another video in the Men of God sermon series. Today we'll be hearing a message about deception in end times. The speaker will be Pastor Stephen Darby. He's gone now, but not forgotten. Amen. Deception is so strong right now that if you don't have an anchor in the word, you're going to fly off. You're going to float off, boy. There's too many philosophies to get involved in now because everybody's a God. So every, everybody's a God and every God has their own doctrine. So people have their own philosophies about, about God and their life. So you have, you have to have an anchor in the word of God. Amen. Say an anchor. Amen. That anchor means, what is an anchor for? It keeps you from flying off. It keeps you from floating away keeps you yeah stable solid are you hearing what I'm saying and uh, that's what we need in this last hour because the the, the mark of the lad look at look over to Matthew 24 real quick let me go there first give you some foundational scripture hallelujah amen the mark of the last days is deception say deception Amen. the mark of the last days is deception this is why Jesus continued to tell his disciples about deception. Deception would be would, this mass deception too, not just not just uh, 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 individual deception, but how the masses would be deceived. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so, what I'm really going to get into um, is going to is called uh, uh, end time or new world order program. In other words, we're programmed to accept things that we don't really realize. Amen. We're going to talk about that. But look at Matthew 24, verse 11. You there? It says, And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. All the gods that you worship in this country are people who walk this land. He said, Many false prophets will, will rise and they will deceive many. Are y'all there? Another scripture says that, that, that even the very elect might be deceived. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? That means those who was living right, trying to serve the Lord, could possibly be deceived. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I really believe we're further in the book of Revelation than preachers are preaching. It, the, preaching of Revelation doesn't, doesn't preach well because it causes people to realize that what we are trusting in is going to be gone in, at some point. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so because we are in, because it doesn't preach well, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, um, it doesn't give people a sense of uh, security. 
that people preach and stay away from it. That's why you can hear 20 sermons on prosperity and 100 sermons on uh, 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 gifts and those things that make people excited. But you hear very little on hell and judgment. And y'all hear what I'm saying? And, uh, and so that's why most Christians don't even under, have no clue about what Re the book of Revelation is about because they never heard it ministered on. They've never, if they did hear it, they took one scripture out of it to prove something that didn't have nothing to do with Revelations. But the whole point is we are in the end of the book. We are in this last book and it's funny how the more we get closer to Christ coming, the less people are talking about this last book. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the Bible says that the sign of these last days is false prophets will rise up and deceive many, say many. So that's mass deception. Say mass deception. Now this is not something that's going that happens uh, 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 on a on a individual level. This is like something that the whole world. The Bible says that when the Antichrist reveals himself, the whole world will follow him. The whole world will be deceived by him. As a matter of fact, he is a great deceiver. His job is to deceive. So he's setting up a system of deception. Before, he, he's not gonna pop up without him already having a system of deception in place. So he's deceiving you now. You don't have to see the Antichrist to be deceived by him. You're deceived by the system he's setting up because he's gonna take over a system. A, he gonna take over a kingdom that was given to him by men who have pledged their allegiance to Lucifer, say amen, for the riches and control of this world, once they bring, once they get this world in the chaotic condition that Satan or darkness needs to manifest in, they will give their power to the beast, which is what the Bible says. Uh, y'all there are not there. So we, so what we see in society is everything is going towards darkness. Everything is going. Matter of fact, it's getting so bad that right is wrong. Right is now wrong. What was once considered right in your conscience is now wrong. Why? Because in order for Satan to come, it has to be chaos. In order for the Bible says the son of perdition to come, there must be a great falling away. That means people who once believed in this gospel have to fall away. And we see this great falling away now. Churches are falling, whole denominations are falling away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Why? Because the system, the stage has to be set for this beast to come, this, this antichrist to come. He can't come as long as there's so much light. He has to persecute this light until there's almost utter darkness. So people will be in darkness. When people are in darkness, they will receive any light, even if it's fake. Y'all, they're not there. So he's using his weapons. The Bible says Satan is the prince and power of the airways. Say the air. He's the prince and power of communication. Airways mean communication. That means however you receive communication, whether it be TV, which is the number one thing. Now the internet is the number one thing. Books, anything that you receive communication from, Satan is behind it. That's the reason why these big companies are buying up everything. Big companies are buying up other companies. A, 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 a Time Warner's getting bought up by Comcast. Everybody's trying to buy up because at the top of these companies are men who are part of an elite group. Uh, Y'all want me to get into this or not? Are part of an elite group that are basically in basically are chosen to create this to create the, the atmosphere for this son of perdition or the Antichrist to show up in. Are y'all there? This is why everything you see in media is always negative and it's it's hypersexual and you have to almost be on pills to understand it. A normal-minded person looks at some of this stuff and say, this don't even make sense. But they, have, but because they have dumbed down and riddlenized, if that's even the word, riddlenized this generation, that they understand this, this, this foolishness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are y'all there? Let me, let me take you here for a second because I want to give you some foundation. The way this chosen group communicate is the same way they communicated in Egypt and Babylon. When you see the hieroglyphs of Egypt, 
Those symbols were words, they meant something. It's a language, y'all got what I'm saying? It's a symbol language that you don't need to speak. You can just see the symbol and you know what it means. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the way that this group speaks, they could be Freemasons, they could be Illuminati, you can name it a whole lot of them, they're all under the same thing. But the way they speak, they speak through symbols. Because symbols, because if you're not a part of their order, you don't see the symbol. It means nothing to you. But they understand when they see the symbol. Are you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Like the symbol, let, let's, let's use the eye in the pyramid. Well, they know what that symbol means. On the back of your dollar, there's the symbol right there. Now, to, now all your life, even as a child, you looked at that and didn't know what it meant. It looked weird. It was a little scary when I first saw it when I was little. I knew it had some significance, but I didn't understand it. As I began to study, as I got older, I found out that that, that, that pyramid is an unfinished pyramid, and the base of that pyramid is, the, is these committees and groups that are all, are all creating, uh, that are all using this, this, this super, listen to me, this supernatural knowledge that they've gotten from darkness to build this platform so the all-seeing eye or the enlightened one, which they call Lucifer, which is now Satan, can come and set on that pyramid. The Bible said calls him the beast, that these kings give their power to the beast. So they're building a system. That's what that pyramid on the back of your dollar is. America was chosen for America was chosen to, to be the land, let me tell you, of the Antichrist. Revelation 17, 14. Those will make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb will overcome them. For He is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those who are with Him are called chosen and faithful. God bless you all. Remember, time is short. Get familiar.